To install the fold back, all that's required are a few simple tools, an 11 16th wrench, a utility knife, and a Phillips screwdriver. Before getting started, make sure you have all the parts shown in this photo. Start by wiping the bulkhead surface with alcohol or a surface cleaner before installing the bulkhead seal to make sure you have a proper adhesion. If you have a plastic bed liner, this seal is not required so you can disregard this step. If your truck has a spray and bed liner or no bed liner at all, you will be using this seal. Take your rubber seal, peel off the plastic backing and start at one side of the truck placing the seal against the bed cap on the end. Work your way across the bulkhead, pushing it down along the way. Use your utility knife to trim the excess seal to length. When you are installing the rails, there will be one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. You will notice a slotted bracket on the end of each rail which is to be placed towards the cab of the truck facing in towards the bed. Attach your drainage tube to the fitting located on the end of each rail. If your truck has plastic inserts covering the drainage tube holes, pop them out to make an opening for the drainage tubes. While holding the rail, feed the drainage tube through the hole in your bed best suited for the size of our drainage tubes. At this point, a second set of hands comes in helpful, otherwise you can use a set of channel locks to hold the rail in position. The first clamp will go in the middle, pushing up as far as it can go to ensure the teeth grip properly. At first tighten the bolt by hand before using the wrench to fully tighten the clamp. Make sure while you're tightening the clamp you push down on the rail so that the seal on the rail is tight to the side of the bed. Moving to the front of the truck, you install the second clamp using the same method by pushing down on the rail. Repeat these steps for the third clamp. Since we are installing on a 6 foot 6 bed, I've installed a fourth clamp to finish installing the side rail. You repeat the same procedure on the other side of the truck. Next, you will install the fullback 2.0 on the rails. I like to set the cover 8 to 10 inches away from the cab of the truck. You will notice the cover snapping into place on either side of the rails. Lift up the first panel of the cover, allowing the small front hinge panel to fold out. Now we are going to install the male and female buckles. You will notice two different types of screws. Begin by lining up the female buckle to the holes provided. Install your screws by using the Phillips screwdriver so that they are tight. The second set of female buckles are to be installed in the pre-drilled holes located on the small panel. Take a threaded insert and push it from underneath the panel while lining up your female buckle with the holes provided. Then grab one of your other screws, push it through the hole, and tighten it into the threaded insert. You will then grab your male buckle and loop the strap through. At this point, we need to mount the cover to the brackets on the rails. You'll need to take your bolts and insert them into the channels located underneath the small panel. Make sure you line up your bolts with the slots in the rails so when you fold the small panel back down, the bolts are pushed through the slot on either side. You'll take your rubber washer followed by your flat washer and a turn knob to fully secure the cover to the rails. Start folding the cover down ensuring both sides of the cover are latching with each flip. When the cover is fully closed, shut the tailgate.
Lift up the weather seal on the side of the cover near the tailgate to make sure the tailgate is butt up against the cover. The cover may also lift slightly when you're shutting your tailgate. You can make a few adjustments if needed by either sliding the cover forward or backward. Now it is time to install a protective rubber bumper strip which is placed in the middle of the cover where the cover meets the cap of the truck. This bumper strip will provide protection to your truck. A heat gun or hair dryer may be needed as the adhesive doesn't fare well in cold temperatures. Once the bumper strip is applied, you're ready to unfold the cover and latch it down into position. That is all it takes for the proper installation of our Foldback 2.0. Thank you for watching.